Hi, this is a quick demo review about Gliss by Bella.io. This is more or less an heroic adaptation of Thrill, the touch control they developed some years ago. As you can see, it's a 4 HP module with two outs, one input, one button on one big uh, touch surface with illuminated LED. It can do many things and all these things are divided in four modes. The first one is control, this is a red one. For going to the option, you press the button and put two figures on the board. As you can see, it uh, opens some illuminated button. The first one is for scrolling between the four modes. The second one changes the control chip of this mod. So for this one, you have single slider, dual slider, or dual touch, because as you can see, the top output is the position of your finger, and the second one is the pressure. But with this option, you can put it in a dual fader mode, so you now have two uh, sides on the board you can use for a CV. Uh, the uh, uh, third option is just dual, dual pressure. And the other button for this one is the latching function. So first it's unlatched, latched, or just latch the position, not the pressure. So here is for the first mod. So let's put it in latchet mode and op slightly open this VC. Alright, the second glitch is in record mode, the mod 2. So let's a record a movement. And of course, you can trigger it. So you can easily make some envelope or anything like that with that. This one too have uh, some option. The first one is the same as the control mode, so you have single slider, dual slider, and dual touch. And the second is the playback. So uh, in by default it's in loop mode, and uh, uh, you have trigger clock, so you can clock your motion. And after you have wave table on the wave shaper, you can draw the wave shaper function on the pad, but I will show you this in other video. All right, so next mode. Next mode is signal. So in this mode, you can uh, feed a signal to uh, Gliss, Gliss and you can scale it, smooth, clip it, or just visualize it. So let's put a simple signal in it, like record something with planner. So as you can see, you can reduce, let's. You have many options in this mode, like you can choose if you want to, uh, the signal input will be DC or AC couple. Um, the second one is for choosing uh, the what the output are doing, if it's a signal or even that signal, or a signal or an envelope. And the third one is an envelope or invented envelope. And the last option is for envelope decay. So let's see the last one. The last one is named Notes. You, it can be a keyboard or a sequencer if you clock it. 
Uh, it's a really rudimentary keyboard, but it can be really tricky to have it uh, on a small case. So the first option is keyboard or sequencer. The second is quantization or an off. And the third one is uh, variable. It depends if you are in the keyboard, it will be vibrato depth. And in, uh, in sequencer, it will be glide. So here are the four mode of uh, Bliss. And I really like this module. I really like the fact you can choose a voltage output between minus five volt and plus 10 volt for each mode. So if you swap mode, he remembers the voltage you set. He can do many things. It's very expressive, very well built. I like it.